And we're here at the Sling Media booth. I'm with Nino, and Nino's going to show us another neat feature of Sling coming this year. Sure. So one of the new unique things about the Slingbox 500 that we've never done before with previous Sling boxes is uh, we now actually put stuff onto the TV. And one of the really nice things about that, that uh, capability is that we sit in line with the set-top box. So to use these new TV features, you don't have to go and change the input on your TV. So for example, one of the new features is what we call Sling Projector. Sling Projector lets you take photos and videos that are uh, stored in your camera roll on your iPhone, for example, and through the, uh, through the Sling Player app, right, I can browse my camera roll, pick my, my videos, and um, uh, we'll just pick a video of my son here, and then I can say Sling Project. I'm right in line with my TV, it'll just switch, it'll start projecting my video, and uh, I never have to pick up the TV remote to go and do that, right? I can just go start projecting my videos in real time. Wi-Fi performance is a little shaky here. So. Here, here at CES, there's, there's thousands of Wi-Fi devices, so Wi-Fi is not optimum here at CES. So at home, it wouldn't be this slow. And, and we've got a network performance thing there. But again, that's because of the CES show floor right. more than anything else. Well, so we can just wait a second here for it to start playing. But uh, yeah, so you get the idea. I, I don't have to go and change the, vi the video input on my TV. I can project stuff straight from my camera roll. Uh, we also have the ability to attach a USB hard drive. Wow, this is real. Okay, there we go. Right, so uh, so you get the idea. Trick play, all the, the basic features you'd expect. So I can just say done. Right from the, from the iPhone app, I can actually switch right back to live TV. Right, so I never have to pick up the TV remote to do that. Uh, so you can also, this is the, the remote control that comes with the 500. So we have a 10-foot TV-based UI. You can attach a USB hard drive and play back all your personal media that's stored on the USB drive, right? So right through the 10-foot UI, I can go to my media, I can go to photos, for example, browse by folder. And so this is gonna be all the content that's, uh, oops, I, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's all the content on the USB drive and you can just do, you know, the usual basic slideshows, you can play back video. Uh, one of the other slick things that we've done is we actually have a feature called Sling Sync where uh, the content from your camera roll on your mobile device, you can actually automatically sync it to the USB hard drive attached to Slingbox 500. So I walk in the door, I just, uh, you know, throw my iPhone next to my Slingbox, fire up the Sling app and it'll automatically copy all the new photos and videos onto the USB drive so that they're permanently available on the TV. Now you said it plays video, what video formats are supported? Right, so uh, H.264, MPEG-2, um, uh, yeah, all the usual suspects, yeah, WMV, and so audio is AAC, PCM, um, AC3, and container formats are going to be AVI, uh, MPEG-2, MKV, uh, WMV, uh, right, uh, WMV basically, yeah. Now, right now, it currently only plays media from your, your device or your external hard drive. Any plans on adding networking capabilities to watch stuff off your local network? It's coming, yes. It was, so, so when the feature initially launches, it'll just be USB, but absolutely, we'll, we'll add support for, for playing back network-based content as well. Now, when, when Sling originally released the 500, a lot of people didn't understand what the difference was and why pay the extra money between the 350 and 500. But now with this feature, it makes sense. And yes. it's, it's a really good feature, and it's good to see it coming. That's great. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, there's a lot of cool other things we can do. This is really just the tip of the iceberg getting this, this basic set of features out the door. And when do we expect to see this released? Uh, definitely first half of this year. First half of this year. Right. Okay. So, some of these features are already there. Sling projector is already there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's available right now in the, in the retail mm -hmm. app. So the ability to attach the USB drive and play back content from the USB drive and also uh, do the Sling Sync feature, that, that is coming soon, right? Definitely first half this year. All right, well, thank you for giving us a demonstration that we truly appreciate. Great, thanks for your time, Scott.